Anzac Tour. Wee bee. Well, the Anzac Tour is designed to help us commemorate the Anzac history and not only in the fronts as in Gallipoli and the Western Front, but also in like, Asia as in Malaysia and Borneo where the prisoners of war will be, or have been. So we'll be going there specifically for really commemorating their efforts. And uh, so while we're on the tour, we'll be attending various places of historical significance. So my role as the teacher will be to assist the students to engage with those places, to understand, uh, provide them with historical background as needed. The atrocities that occurred in the Sandakan region and the Saba region um, during World War II with the prisoners of war um, is one of the greatest atrocities that's occurred um, in Australian wartime. So it's important for students to go there and discover for themselves how this has occurred, what's occurred and the significance of it um, so they can have a greater understanding of Australia's wartime history. From what people have told me, I think this is going to be a very moving experience. Um, I don't think I can fully grasp how moving it will be at this stage. I mean, something about 1,600 Australians died at Sandakan, where we're going to be having a dawn service. For me, this trip is really important because I have family connections to the area. Uh, my grandfather was a military policeman in the Indonesian confrontation, and he served in Malaysia. and. Because of that, my father was born in Malaysia. So it's really important for me to be able to bring that family connection back when I bring back my tour experiences. He was in the Indonesian confrontation from 1963 to 1966. And he was basically in charge of the soldiers. He wasn't in any immediate danger as such, but he was also um, in charge of disarming, disarming mines over in the battlefields. So he had a good joke about that. So I think he shows the Anzac spirit with the fact that he jokes about the dangers that he faced.